hello everyone as promised this is the video where i share what we brought back from nigeria mainly food that my sister bought for me from oyimbo market she actually went with my husband because you need at least two people to buy all the things we need and the things that people that live here with us sent us to buy for them i didn't go because i had to take ned to the hospital she had a fever and i took her to the hospital it turned out to be malaria while in the village she was always lugging around anti mosquito spray you know the one you spray on your body and she was spraying it diligently yet mosquitoes beat the hell out of her they just love that girl's skin so when she had a fever i actually suspected that it would be malaria and it turned out to be that so yeah that's why i did not go to our famous oyimbo market <laughs> backstory over bring out your pen so that you can make a list because actually that's the reason for this kind of video and while you're at it click the like button have you have you <laughs> i'll start with the vegetables see how fresh they still are we live in spain which is quite close to nigeria all these were purchased the same day we left nigeria we left nigeria at about 10 pm and we arrived home and by that i mean inside our home not the airport latest 3 pm the next day this is uziza the one with the zing i made a video dedicated to how to identify these leaves and the recipes they are used for this one is nchuan Efiri, scent leaf. I use it for pepper soup, stews, meatballs, yam and vegetable recipe, etc. This wrap of oral leaves is the one they bought from Oimbo Market. While this wrap over here is the one that my mother-in-law gave us in the village, remember? I mean, it's shocking that it's still so fresh. She gave this to us six days ago. They wrapped it with kukuyam leaves and they've been in there since then. See how dead the kukuyan leaf they used as wrapper looks, but the aura and uzuza leaves are still fresh. This one is otaze. I don't usually bring otaze from Nigeria because the only thing I need it for is ofensala. And I can comfortably prepare ofensala with baby spinach and you will not notice any difference to the taste. But her being Wokoma told my sister to buy otaze when they went to the market. Mokanya rulana. Hey! then see all the yams that my husband brought from nigeria oh, does this man want to start a yam retail business an african food store in obodo ibobikon <laughs> you know i was not there when they did the packing i would have told him that there's no space in my freezer here to preserve all this yam anyway the yams are here now for this month we will be on a yam diet Fry it, roast it, boil it, pound it. Somebody help me with more ways to prepare yam. <laughs> now them go tired. Then we have ground achi used as alternative to coco yam in Nigerian soups. No, it's not good for thickening ofensala. Check out my alternative ingredients ofensala video below. Odara, yes, we saw some kotonu odara in Lagos. If you ask me for odara, come and take your own now. Before they finish it, Kamsi is already wasting the odara for me. Wait, 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 Kamsi, where are you going? Let me see. Hmm? What did I see here? Yeah. Uh -uh. Have you finished eating? Yes. Why? You're not going to eat the skin? Oh, you can eat the skin. I mean, if you don't want to eat the skin, you can eat everything, but if you don't want to eat the skin, you need to eat the flesh inside. Ah, only, I normally, I normally do that. This thing. It's just the seed. Yes, because the first time you gave this thing to me, I just ate the seed and I liked it, so yeah. I forgot about the flesh and I started eating the seed. And <laughs> into the trash. Please don't waste it. This is contraband, you know, but don't you know, okay? Me? This is special food, you know, but don't you, know, you know, you know what we, we did to bring this to Bodo Ibo. Please eat everything, don't waste it. Eat, eat ah, this the, is contraband. A, no, 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 not in that way. I mean, ah, okay. it's 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 like gold. It's gold here in Spain. Hmm. If you're going to sell this, you're going to sell this 1,000 euros. So you have to eat it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Ground dry cayenne pepper. Garden egg. My husband loves garden eggs with spicy peanut butter. And this garden egg can last up to six weeks in the fridge. Fridge. -o. Before some will start asking me if I mean fridge or freezer. Fridge refrigerator. Just rinse them very well, put in containers and put in the fridge close to the vegetable compartment and they will be fresh for a while. 
My mom made one drum of okwose, that's spicy peanut butter for us. Enjoyment galore. Okra. We can buy okra where we live, but my husband said he wanted to bring organic Nigerian okra. Okay. <laughs> And as always, Oboroko must come back with us. How can this place smell like Nigerian people's house without Oboroko, eh? But no, it must smell low. We brought back some premium kanda from Igbo land. From that cow now, this premium kanda is not just the cow skin. It contains some flesh inside it too. They are already frozen at this time, so I don't want to start unwrapping them. Hobby has already commissioned some ofora to be prepared for him using his favorite premium kanda, kandalysis with anumpo. That's dry meat. Can you see it? Can you? Can you? And isio buroko chayo. No darling. From Niger life in Niger to Niger life in Obodoibo. We brought Oba, that's Obaka, it's in this plastic bag, frozen already. Ground crayfish, suya spice or suya pepper or yaji. How suffer any gift to Nigeria? Ground Obono. Gari Fasoki when eating beans porridge or moi moi. Mo Oboroko, this one is the head and the ear. Nti Oboroko. Dry fish, I think, yeah, that's dry fish. <laughs> Ground Egusi, I have videos of how we meticulously sort these things in Nigeria before grinding them. You need to follow this channel bumper to bumper if you want to learn these things. Sometimes they are hidden in videos whose titles do not say what is inside the video. I'll try and find the videos and link them below. Freshly washed bitter leaves, they are not dried. You guys know that I have a lady that washes bitter leaves for me in Lagos. They picked it up the same day they went to Wimbo Market. This is the onions I chopped and put in the freezer before we traveled. <laughs> Remember that Anwe Wudat got me that my hobby was setting aside in the village? It has entered Obodo Ibo without a visa. Oh, look at it. More washed bitter leaves. Please confirm that all these things I am showing you will cross the border of the country you live in or you are traveling to before you take them with you. Every country is different to, to avoid packing all these things, spending all this money and then you arrive at the border of the country. They will collect everything, throw it in the bin in your very before. Some countries will even find you on top. Snails, they bought so many snails, even more than I would have bought if I were the one that went to the market. They really tried, eh? They bought dry tiger nuts for me as well. We have tiger nuts here in Spain because Spain is actually the world's largest producer of tiger nuts. But that's great. We have the baggage allowance for it and I can't say no to tiger nuts. Wink, wink. As always, we bought things for our Nigerian friends living here. Others have picked up theirs. This is the last one left. Braided wigs, Nigerian food. Yeah, the usual suspects. <laughs> As usual, I entered the job of prepping the fresh vegetables for storage in the freezer. No waste time at all at all, else they will all go to waste. I have a detailed video on how I do all these. If you learned a few tips in this video, click the like button. Have you? Have you? You've seen recipes where I used all these ingredients, but if there's one you would particularly like to see me prepare, please leave it in the comments below. Bye-bye! See you soon!